Hello everyone, welcome to the news for this week for AQ. We got some really cool stuff to talk about this week, let's get into it. Alright, over the past few years, the most requested thing to be added to the game, and I don't know why it hasn't been added to the game 10 years ago, or even before that, cosmetic slots. A slot to equip a cosmetic item so you don't have to unequip, reequip an SOD. If you're hanging out and you don't want to have all your combat gear on, having to go and re-equip all that so you can just wear a nice looking set all the time. Alina on Twitter replied to someone, yes, cosmetic slot. It's the only acknowledgement at all I've ever seen of cosmetic slots publicly uh, from any AE staff. So this is a good sign. And the fact that they're adding a lot of stuff this week, we might see the cosmetic slots very soon, maybe. Well, don't hold your breath, but it could be coming up, especially because they're actually acknowledging it when it's been a request for a very vocal request for quite a while in the community. Okay, so Spider and Rhubarb have been working on some features for the game, some new features for the birthday. So we got bankable house items, very cool. Sound effect volume sliders, don't know who plays with the audio on, but all right. Uh, XP carrying over after leveling. I actually thought it did that in the game already, if I'm being completely honest, but cool. Uh, <laughs> and uh, some other stuff as well. There's like a bunch of patch notes here. It's weird to see feature patch notes for AQ Worlds. I'm just, yeah, it, that's a weird thing. For other games, it's pretty normal. For this one, not so much. Uh, visual skill cooldown and advanced options. Added uh, keybinds for the battle analyzer, that's really nice. Uh, keybinds for the stat panel, also very cool. All clicking player will select the bottommost player. Bankable house items, stackable house items. Uh, this isn't actually coming out uh, with the update. Uh, stackable house items is going to test servers. It means you're gonna have more than one of, you can use more than one of a single house item, which is really cool. I'm a big fan of that. So they won't have to make, or they probably still will have to make left and right. It'd be cool if the house stuff was more customizable, like you could rotate and move it and do all that stuff. Maybe they can add that. I don't I don't know if they can do that, but anyway. Um, yeah, sound effect, new bank. The bank loads faster. House uh, inventory UI got updates, new stat panel. Yeah, and some other stuff. We won't spend too much time reading that, but very cool. A few screenshots to show you, like volume sliders, uh, stat panel, we already saw that. Um, more than one item. You can see there's two bunnies there in the house. One of them is actually flipped the other way in this image. Is, is that, that isn't something you can do because they have to have separate items for left and right. Is that an, an, a thing they're also adding? I, or, oh, I, actually, I think the bunny hops around different ways. I think it's animated for that particular item. Uh, anyway, really cool stuff. You can see the new inventory here with the bank. Uh, the, the item on the side there looks a little unaligned, but other than that, pretty cool stuff. If you check your account in game you should have the free inventory space already and maybe the bank spaces as well uh, i haven't checked um, my game yet but yeah pretty cool they're also going to add more to the cap so 400 will be the new cap for inventory space 450 for bank uh, friends list is getting expanded 225 uh, slots that's really cool i might actually be able to add some friends that's really sick i think they expanded in the past once it was 30, I think, to start off with. I think it got expanded to like 50 or something, or maybe 100. Now it's 225. Um, and your starting inventory is now 50 instead of the 40 or 30 it was before. I can't quite remember. I think it was 30. Might have been even lower than that at one point. But yeah, very, very cool. Definitely going to buy out max inventory space, 400. That's 100 more than the cap. Plus you get 10 for free. Uh, they're also going to be adding free house slots. You'll get 10 for free. Uh, and you'll probably be able to buy more than that in the future, but not right now. You also won't be able to buy the more uh, slots until the Friday update, I think. Next up is a shark. Well, not exactly, but yeah, it's Gargura with a kind of a ghost theme, spooky theme. Maybe they fit in with Halloween, but uh, yeah, it works. Uh, also, there's a little ghost version of Bloop there. Pretty cool. So yeah, um, one little nitpick with this outfit. I really do like it. Uh, I asked if there was going to be a hood. It's the first thing I asked when I saw it. I was like, ooh, a hood? Will there be one? No, there's no hood version. Uh, at least that I know about. Anyway, but uh, the the female version of the outfit is kind of got a little bit of a frown. And the male version's got a little bit of a, smir uh, of a smirk. 
kind of wish they both had the smirk. Uh, that's that's one my one little criticism of the outfit. But uh, other than that, really cool. Can't wait to pick that up in game. Also, is this I think it's the second whole life outfit they've added. So would not be surprised if we saw a war criminal for Easter coming up soon. Dark Elegant Masquerade set arrives next month. So this will be for Black Friday. This is going to be for the Friday release, this map art from Crude Long. This is a confirmed house drop for October. Really nice. Uh, I think that orange, is, those panels are actually glass, so that's, that's pretty cool. It'd be nice if we had like a, you went into your house and it was like a flip perspective where you could see the outside of your house. That'd be cool. Like through the front windows is what I, what I mean. So yeah, I don't think they do that a lot with houses. An edited version of a previous map. It looks very pixelated, like your graphics card is dying or something. So yeah, that's cool from Darken. A set design from Phelan that was translated by Bido into in-game art is going to be making its way into the game soon. In the near future is the time frame there. So it's probably for Halloween, judging by the amount of blood on the outfit. Akari's newest elemental farming set is going to be a zero AC, according to this. Uh, well, the ice cube cape is a zero AC counterpart to the eternal flame cape. So, does that mean Hakari's getting married? I, I think it does. I think there was talk of that. I, I might be wrong, but anyway, uh, eternal flame cape around Hakari as well uh, as an upcoming item for the game. Pretty cool. Chaos Draketh looking outfit from Antism here coming later in the month. An update for the 10k chest, there's going to be a Shadow Scythe of Blinding Light of Destiny. Ooh, we need another one of those. There aren't 20 plus of them already. In the, I think there actually is more than 20. There might be. I might be wrong, but I think, I think it's somewhere around 20 of them in the game already. So, another one, I guess. This Valentine's set is getting other color custom version of it. Another color custom version of it. Be a better way of putting it. So, yeah, pretty cool. A suggestion for Cyber Monday uh, from F -Z -F Sorry. Uh, anyway, yeah, really cool design on this blade. Love the mirror version of the Kalad, one of my favorite swords in the game. A dual color custom version of this design would be really sick. Speaking of really sick, this outfit from Ezimir here, this design, really like it. Love the uh, glow on the chains and the glasses and all that. The outfit itself is a very good design. Very much like this quite a bit. Ultimello with this another design. Was it a Gucci belt? <laughs> cool enough design there from Ultimello. Daily drops for this week include a 1% drop for Akatrell's birthday. Our birthdays are actually one day apart. Pretty cool. Happy birthday if you're watching this, Akatrell. I probably say your name horribly wrong. I'm sorry. The Give me the proper pronunciation because I'm terrible at that. Anyway, uh, Book of War is available as a daily gift as well. That's a permanent item, not going rare. Uh, this will be going rare. One armor, two helmets, one cape, and a pet for uh, Nehi's birthday. That's available at the ferry. So go get that. Uh, I got them all pretty quickly, actually. And the last one, there's a whole list of drops. Uh, there's going to be a few rare drops. You can say, uh, see the list here. So, yeah, just pause if you want to pause. There's going to be a few rare drops throughout the month of October. And that's the list of all the drops for the month. Big thanks to all the channel members for supporting the channel, making videos like these possible. Appreciate all the continued support from all of the channel members. Big thanks again. And thank you for watching this video. Appreciate that. Leave a like if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And I'll see you guys all in the next one. I'll be streaming the event like I do every Friday on the channel around six o'clock EST tomorrow in the afternoon. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.